Tonight we are dining at Kappa at the Four Seasons Orlando right next to Walt Disney World. If you don't know, we do dining reviews every single Monday, so be sure to check those out. So we are dining at Kappa and we are super excited to dine here for the very first time. We are here with our friends Mike and Steve and Caleb is along with us too. We are so excited to try this menu. There are a lot of tapas to choose from and then entrees as well. We've got cocktails to start the night and I am ready to eat. To start off a uh, cocktail tonight here for me, I've got the Mojito uh, Moderno. This is mint charged Bacardi rum, minted cane, sugar, lime, passion fruit, ginger uh, with a foam. It's really, really fantastic. It's super smooth. And they actually infuse the rum uh, with the mint, which is kind of cool, a little bit different. Um, so there's no actual mint in the glass. So it keeps it very clean uh, looking, you know. Uh, it's nice, uh, a little fruity. A little like kind of tangy almost and um, it's excellent all right so mike and i both ordered the same exact cocktail and this is called the buena vista it's a jalapeno uh, forward margarita so you're definitely gonna get a lot of heat on top one thing i'll call out is that this restaurant does an awesome job of doing a creative rendition on their cocktail so instead of having a salted rim they have this thing called salted air which essentially is a sea salt foam uh, that they whipped up and gives you that nice you know salt flavor you traditionally expect from a margarita what I would tell you is you do have to go really past that foam to really get into the, the good margarita. You're going to be hit with like an ocean breeze or whatever it is right on the, on the front, but it is pretty tasty. So, cheers. As one of our tapas items tonight, we got the croquettes. These are ham croquettes with caramelized onions, and then there's a little bit of the Iberico ham shavings in there as well. These were absolutely amazing. I loved the nice crunchy texture on the outside and then it was nice and like almost kind of, I don't even know how to explain it, but <laughs> it was a completely different texture on the inside, but very good. The flavors in there were amazing. You could get that little bit of onion flavor in there as well. Very great way to start out and I'm excited to start digging into these cheeses. All right, so which one are you going to go with first? I think I'm going to go with that one. So I'm going to get the one that's flat. Not both huh? You know what's great when you vlog? You have two different cameras <laughs> staring at you every action that you're doing right now and making sure that's the perfect cut. Is she plating right? We don't know. Who knows? <laughs> we know nothing. I'm gonna get this other one. Ooh, this one's like a little softer, I think. I'm just gonna go on the left field here, but that is uh, the poop emoji. <laughs> it was. It does look like that. Oh, is that how you do it? You stab I mean, the cheese. Oh, look at that. There's some gut right there. Oh, let me go. I mean, my thing is with like a good blue cheese, you, you really don't even need the company to put that, I don't think. That's fantastic. Oh my God. So one of the great things about uh, being a couple is knowing couple notes. And I know that the second I tried this, Mike would absolutely hate everything about this. <laughs> so this is the bluest of blue cheeses that the bluest cheese could be here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. So you definitely get like a really like salty quality to it. Very, very um, pungent flavor that you typically get within blue cheese. And then the um, jam jelly preserve that goes on top of it is helping to smooth out the rough edges. So overall, I enjoy it. Mike, stay away. You're not gonna like this. Yeah. Everything that Steve just said, I mean, it, it's it's fantastic. Um, to me, like a, a really great blue cheese, you don't even need accompaniments with it, um, my opinion. But um, both the uh, kind of like preserves that they say goes with it or the honeycomb is gonna pair, I think, perfectly with, with both. But uh, wow, like, I wish I could maybe find this somewhere and uh, have it to eat at home. Our table's getting a little clustered. Because, you know, there's four of us and we like to eat food. So, um, we have gone through the croquettes. We have gone through the pork belly. Uh, we've got some oysters here. The cheeses are still being eaten. And uh, I, I these are fantastic. Uh, whether you're going to do it just straight without the vinegar, without the uh, cocktail sauce, either way, um, very, very good. And, boy, oh, boy, I'm, I'm really excited to order an entree here uh, at some point.
because uh, the, the food here has just been absolutely fantastic so far. For another top us, we got the Cerdo. This is beer brined pork belly with apple butter pistachio jazz. This is amazing. It seems like it might almost melt in your mouth. It doesn't, but it is still like super delicate and tender. And I love the flavor of the apple butter and the pistachio gives it a nice little bit of like crunchy texture to it. Overall, everything so far has been absolutely amazing. And just like Josh said, I am really excited to order entrees. However, before we get to that, uh, we did also get an additional Iberico ham with our cheeses or the quesos. And the Iberico ham I have not tried yet but I'm about to. I forgot I didn't try it yet. I love a good charcuterie with meats and cheeses, and the Iberico ham is just extra flavorful. It is so good. You just have to try it. Like, I can't even describe it to you. Just try some. So surprise. Uh, I've actually never had a gin and tonic before. But I do like gin, and I thought, what the heck? Why not? We're at a place that serves uh, really great cocktails, excellent food, and uh, why not try something a little bit different? Not necessarily new, but um, if you hopefully could hear what he was saying, um, this should get a little more flavorful as it marinates and sits. So, um, cheers. It's really good. Okay, so we are definitely enjoying our entree. The sun is setting over here, and if you don't know, the balcony views out here are absolutely amazing. You're gonna be up, we're gonna be able to see Magic Kingdom uh, in a few seconds uh, during the sunset. We want to make sure we're wrapping up our dinner perfectly time for that to be able to go out there and enjoy the view. Um, what I ordered tonight was the Chilean sea bass. It was cooked perfectly, perfect crust on the outside, nice flaky white fish on the inside. It is paired perfectly with these garbanzo beans with nice silver goo on top of it. Overall, this is a very well-balanced entree. Definitely happy it went down this path. So tonight I had the filet. I am really enjoying this. Um, I feel like it could have been seasoned a little bit better, but the preparation, like the, the cooking method of it, or what am I going to say? The temperature, however, is perfect. I ordered it medium rare. It's got that really nice pink layer in there. Really like it. I do have to say it pairs perfectly with the potatoes we ordered. If you combine those two and get that perfect bite, it's a home run. On its own, I've had better steaks, but it's not terrible, it's not bad, but yeah. For dinner tonight, for my entree, I went with the paella here. Now this is not necessarily a traditional sense of paella, uh, like the Spanish ones, I guess, um, because they are primarily more of like a steakhouse here. Uh, it has more of a steakhouse type of vibe to it. So uh, no seafood or anything like that. Um, but we did have some good chorizo in there, which was uh, really, really good, seasoned really well. And uh, it was good. Um, it's not what I remember from having at other places. So I think to me it was a little bit of a letdown and it felt like it had a little too much like lime juice or pickling like vinegar. I don't know, it just, it, it tasted like, uh, it's a little sharp and a little tangy uh, for me. But overall, uh, I think the paella was still cooked really well, just the flavors weren't really matching my palate uh, to what I would like. So, um, but with the sides, both the sides that we got, they were awesome, fantastic, uh, creamy potatoes and a, a nice kind of, uh, Burst of flavor with uh, with the corn. The uh, is it maize? I didn't think he said maize. It was like maize or miza or something like that. So really good. Thank you. So a really cool kind of feature here at Kappa is that they've got this amazing outdoor terrace out here, and uh, what's even better is that we've got an amazing view of the contemporary Bay Lake Tower, which means that Magic Kingdom is just on the other side of that. So this is a great place for you to come and watch uh, fireworks light at night. If you can snag a reservation here to do that. And I mean, just like, look at these amazing views. Spaceship Earth out there, giant Guardians of the Galaxy building, Tower of Terror. Um, it's a, just an amazing view and to see this at sunset is just, uh, hands down, just really, really nice. 
For my dessert tonight, I had the Velour Chocolate. This is a chocolate mousse with coffee ice cream, a toffee crunch, and meringue. Now, I love a chocolate dessert, and this was excellent. Um, I loved the chocolate mousse. It was not super rich, um, but it was nice and chocolatey. And the coffee ice cream that came with it, uh, for some reason, I was expecting something a little bit different. However, this really tasted like coffee. Uh, it didn't have any other really flavors to it at all. It was just like a frozen coffee, but it was ice cream. It was really good. Um, paired very well with the chocolate mousse and uh, overall a great way to end the night. All right, so we just finished eating upstairs at Kappa here at Four Seasons, and uh, it was a pretty good meal. It was. It was a long meal. We kind of dragged it out a little bit. We yeah. ordered some tapas, and then some more tapas came, and then we eventually ordered our entrees, but everything was really good. It, like, it was an overall very good meal, and great company, too. Yeah, I enjoyed it. However, I will say, speaking honestly, I actually prefer uh, Haleo oh. down at Disney Springs. Yeah. Um, as far as like the Spanish kind of cuisine goes, um, for me, this is this is far more a steakhouse vibe. Yeah, like Spanish-inspired steakhouse. Yeah, Haleo is 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 like straight on a Spanish restaurant, yeah. which is uh, I really enjoyed where they're last. But if you're interested in coming here, mm -hmm. uh, it might be a little bit more on the expensive side for you. Yes, it definitely is a little more expensive, but it also has really great views too. Yes. So depending when you come, you might get some firework views or you might get some sunset views. Yeah. So. It's a great. It's great for like a little date night. I think definitely you know, yes. Um, kind of hang out as the mm -hmm. evening comes on and hit the fireworks at yeah, uh, nine. Yeah, it definitely has a romantic feel to it. For sure. But yeah, let us know if you have ever dined here at Kappa at the Four Seasons Resort Orlando. 